everyone, this is an old school lane update for August of 2022. So I hope that you guys have had a good summer. I know for some of you that summer is still going on. You just have a few weeks left until summer is over. But for us here in the South, summer is over and some of you guys are probably back in school. So I hope that you guys are doing well. As for me, I had a really good summer. I just got back from England a few weeks ago. I'm just adjusting to getting back on my time zone. But nonetheless, I had a really, really wonderful time. Aaron and I had spent a lot of time together going to various places, getting to know each other more. And we got an opportunity to record many episodes of Aaron and Patricia, Pix Minis, Pix Mix, Dream Machine. And we started our brand new series, Journey to the Blue Sky, where we've been watching all of the Blue Sky Studios films. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the content that we've been posting all summer. I want to give off a few reminders right before we go over to the main topic. I have two surveys up for you guys to check out and for you guys to have the opportunity to fill out. The first one is one that I posted a few months ago, but I've only received maybe a handful of people who had filled it up. And this would be the Old School Lane survey. It's asking questions about the direction that you want to see for Old School Lane, what have your thoughts of it, and especially for those who have recently unsubscribed or have stopped following the Old School Lane channel. I'm curious as to know why that is the case and what can I do to improve it. So if you have the opportunity to do so, please fill out the survey. Links are in the description box below. Another survey that I have up, and this is one that just came out recently, is the Pix Minis Volume 2 Top 5 Best and Worst Pixar Shorts. So from Partysaurus Rex to Chow Alberto, Aaron and I have been talking about the remaining Pixar Shorts in honor of the premiere of Lightyear in theater. And we want to look back to see which ones you believe have been the best and the worst. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, please put down what you believe are the best and the worst Pixar shorts. Now, I'm going to give you guys a deadline, a little bit longer than usual, but nonetheless, one that will hopefully be able to give you enough time for you to fill up the survey. The deadline for the survey is Sunday, September 18th, so you guys have a few weeks to fill it out. So once again, if you are interested in filling out these surveys, one about Old School Lane and one about your favorite and least favorite Pixar shorts, then please check out the description below. Now let's get into the main topic. I have a few episodes of casual chats that I'm really, really excited to be posting up in the future, one of which will be around Halloween. So I just recently connected with my friends, John and Douglas from Who Loves Orange Podcast. So I used to be a part of um, the group behind Who Loves Orange podcast, they had a website called For Entertainment's Sake. They had decided to take a bit of a hiatus to focus on their music. But now they recently brought back Who Loves Orange podcast, which you can check out in the description below. They have a Spotify account and they just posted up a few episodes of their podcast. I'm going to invite them back again so we can talk about Nickelodeon Halloween specials. Several years ago, we did one on Christmas specials. So now we want to talk about Halloween and there are plenty of Halloween specials to check out. So expect to see that around Halloween. Other things that I want to post up for Halloween are episodes of Casual Chats talking about the two Are You Afraid of the Dark miniseries. That long-haired creepy guy and I talked about the first one and we really enjoyed it. So we want to take a look at the other two to see how they stack up and how Are You Afraid of the Dark was able to come back for a new audience. Another set of podcasts that I really, really want to do, and this is a big one, on November 18th, 2022, I want to post up an episode of Casual Chats celebrating the podcast's 10th anniversary. That's right, on November 18th, 2012, Kevin and I posted our very first episode of Casual Chats, and... I have to say, it's quite crazy to think that we're almost at the 200 mark, and we want to be able to celebrate it with something that we did similarly to when we celebrated our fifth year anniversary. We had brought in the listeners who were huge fans of the podcast, and they talked about their favorite podcast episodes and their favorite guests that they were part of the show and various other questions. So I want to do it again. So if you're interested in joining in on that podcast discussion, please let me know at Old School Lane. 86 at gmail.com. That's old school lane 86 at gmail.com. And let me know that you want to be a part of the 10th anniversary casual chat celebration. 
in honor of my first quote unquote video that I ever posted up on YouTube, I want to do a look back on the shows that I said I wanted to see remade and find out whether my opinions still hold up. In fact, I'm not looking back on 10 shows. I'm going to be looking back on the 20 shows. That's right. I actually did a follow up video about a week later where I said I wanted to see if there were 10 more shows I wanted to see being remade. Uh, so on October 30th, I'm going to be posting up a video looking back on the 20 Nickelodeon shows that I said that I wanted to see remade and see how well my opinions hold up. Now, speaking of videos, I'm sure that you've noticed there has been a lack of videos here at Old School Lane. I haven't posted a video since my fun facts of As Told by Ginger, and that was almost a year ago. I just want to say that I am very sorry. You see, 2022 was a really, really, really busy year for me. It was my last semester in college. I recently graduated. I went to England for the summer, and now just recently, I moved house. It's just been a lot going on, especially since I'm trying trying to figure out what's going to be the next step in my life, whether I should get a job, whether I should get a master's program. It's still up in the air for me right now. I've also noticed in recent months that a lot of people have been unsubscribing to the Old School Lane YouTube channel. I had a feeling that a lot of people were probably just really impatient with not a lot of videos and just too many podcasts, or maybe that the content that you've been wanting to see hasn't been delivered to you and you're probably looking elsewhere. So... I just want to say I'm I'm sorry, but you have to understand that uh, being a content creator is not my full-time job. It's just something that I do on my spare time and for fun. So anything that I can do that I find enjoyable, I hope that you guys find enjoyable. Enough of the negative stuff. I want to talk about some positive stuff. So I do have some ideas for video scripts, uh, one of which I've been wanting to do for almost a decade, ever since uh, around 2013 when my good buddy Mark Nicholson, aka Big Black Hat Man, had decided to uh, do a video where he was looking back on the American Film Institute Top 10 Westerns and see how well that those choices were. I want to do something very similar for two specific topics. I'm not going to go into too many details on that, but hopefully I will do so very, very soon. I've been looking at um, the choices for these two particular uh, topics that I want to choose from, and it's a lot. It's not 10, it's not 20, it's 100 for both of them. So it's going to take a while, but I hope that you will be really patient and I hope that the wait will be worth it. I'm also hoping to see if maybe I can do a very special episode of Casual Chats or invite the cast and crew of a specific show that is celebrating an anniversary. I'm not able to do a live stream this year because of uh, just too many things going on, but uh, I want to do something similar to what I did to the Recess podcast that I did a few years ago, where I invited Paul, Joe, and various other um, cast and crew members where they were able to talk about their fond memories working on the show. So uh, what's the show? I'm not going to tell you what it is either. You're going to have to stay tuned and find out, but I will let you know when the time comes so that you will be excited to um, stay tuned and see what it is. Another thing that I want to do is I want to give a major shout out to Manic Expression. Manic Expression is a website where various content creators have been posting up their podcasts, their videos, their blogs, and other sources of content on the website and now they had just rebranded their YouTube channel we're going to be posting up content on the Manic Expression YouTube channel as well as the Old School Lane YouTube channels. And while you're waiting, please check out this Manic Expression YouTube channel and check out the content from people such as Toon Grin, The Fanfic Critic, Fusionator, Ichabod Todd, James, Tim Deanna, and more. That's it for the update, everyone. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the content that we have been posting here at Old School Lane, and hopefully we'll be able to post some more stuff pretty soon. But until then, we we hope to see you around soon. Take care.